Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office. Going to be working on tooth number 10. And it's a class 5 lesion uh, that we were kind of watching for a while now. It, it did appear to be a little bit soft last appointment and hygiene. So now it's time to take care of it. We'll need a cotton roll, please. All right. So there's the lesion. I'm just going to put it in focus a little bit more. There we go. All right. Now this is a number two round burr, so it's a little on the large side. We're going to switch it, bring it on over to a quarter round. And we'll do the excavation with the quarter round. Zoom in. We're using a, a, a microscope. By Leica Corporation. So you can see the middle portion is the soft portion, the outside is relatively hard. So we'll score that surface, we'll mask over it with an opaque composite from Kulzer. Uh, it's a Germany company, and I believe this is a form of charisma. So OA2 is the color, so we'll get some opaquer in there to m mask out the brown to bring the color up a little bit. So next step, now that the decay is out, and this is all, I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard. This is all hard tooth structure in and around the middle portion, so. All right, so now I'm gonna use a, a high-speed burr, and this is a coarse diamond fine coarse diamond. We'll use that one next. And just come in and score the surface. Notice we're going to end the margin right at the tissue level, maybe just slightly below. So our next part of procedure is to place some cotton called Siltrax. Again, we're up a right around 8 power, so you're four times out of the normal loops. And we can take it up a little bit more and, and go to 12 and a half power. So that's 12 and a half. Now, let's go back to three and a half power. We're now going to use Siltrax cord. And we'll place it with the periodontal probe. Okay, and we're going to dry it off. We'll get it started on one end, push it down between the tissue and that of the tooth. So we're moving that gum tissue temporarily out of position so that when we place the filling, it extends a little bit past the preparation. So when we finish it down, we have that uh, room that we need without traumatizing the tissue. So tissue is out of the way and out of harm's way. Now I'm going to go back in and just score that again a little bit. And then we're going to use something called Concepsis. We put them in a pre-comp syringe and we're actually going to come in and use it. It's a basically a soap. It's chlorhexidine gluconate and 
that cleaned up really, really, really well. Okay, so that's an end spiral brush tip from Ultradent, and now we've got a rinse factor there. Just going to rinse over the tooth a little bit more. Great. I'm going to use uh, uh, leave going to leave it wet. And we're going to go right in with the etch. And now I'm going to use and now if you pay close attention, you'll be able to see some carbon dioxide bubbles come up. We're going to do about a 20 it's going to be 15 second etch and uh, Someone wrote in and talked about the scrubbing technique. I kind of like that, where you can actually push the material into the tubules. And if there's any film, you know, it's kind of scrubbing that down. Get it to penetrate into the tubules and then just let it set for another five. See the carbon dioxide bubbles come up. And now it's we're ready to rinse that and then go right to an air-air syringe. And then the adhesive is coming next, so I always like to rinse between 10 and 15 seconds. Make sure you get it all off of the tooth. Air, air syringe, so we have two filters on the air. Absolutely no water contributing to any of this, but we do want to drop down. We have a dimmer switch on the microscope, so we can lower the light to about one watt of power. Once we do that, we know it's not going to prematurely set the material. So it's great having a little dimmer switch on the back of the chair. All right, now we're going to scrub in our adhesive uh, Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive from 3M. You know, the, those are the people that make a lot of adhesives and tape and other industries, so we like their products, a really good product. Very reliable. Alright, so that's now in dentin, which is the organic part of the tooth, right? <coughs> the softer part. And then we'll overlap the enamel a little bit. Now I'm thinning it down with the same syringe, it's an air-air syringe. Make sure the cord is still where it needs to be. Now we're going to light cure that. Minimum 10 seconds. <coughs> There's a filter <coughs> on the um, on the light itself and also a filter on the lens of the microscope. So protecting your eyes. It's key. All right. That's it. Now we're going just a little bit lighter. So when we scale back on the polish, it'll be just slightly lighter than the tooth, and over time that'll that'll match. I think we're going to have a pretty close match here. Okay. So I'm using a visor seal over on top of that so that you can see how shiny that is. That's an unfilled resin. And then finally, I'm going to just take an explorer and remove the excess. Now we do our. We have the small explorer, please. So now, just going to take this explorer and just kind of push the material out toward the distal, toward the mesial. And then kind of flatten it out a little bit. So you're going to have some excess in there. You're almost done. I have a slave ejector, please. Thank you. Okay, so now we're ready to cure it. Just like that, right? Curing it. I'm going to do a 30 second cure on that. Then I'm going to come back in with a polishing burr, a fine diamond burr. And then uh, we're going to get into um, using some pumice tin oxide. And that'll be uh, 
that'll be it. So pretty straightforward case. So you got a class five lesion. Just we're watching it over time, and finally it was time to to intervene. But with the microscope, we're doing a a nice service of keeping it conservative, and um, you know, ultimately a minimally invasive procedure. Now we're going to raise the light up, come in with a fine diamond, and grab some water and such. I'm actually going to use some water with this now. So, come some spray. Looks like we got a decent color match here, so it looks good. And I'm going to also use an instrument to pull back the tissue. Now I'm right at the tissue level now, but I don't want to traumatize it. Right? That's the key is to stay stay good on all that. So we're gonna use a an explorer and I'm gonna bend my explorer out so it just lifts up the tissue. Out please. Out please. Thank you. And just air on the tooth. Great. All right, so a lot of, s it's low RPM with a lot of hand movement. Make sure I'm in the center. Just slightly out of focus. Now I'm gonna bring Kurt back a little bit. There we go, all right. go. So I'm doing, it's like a smiley face. I'm following the contour. It's not a straight across. So you're going up and down. Following the U-shape of the gum tissues and just being extra careful not to bump into it. As it wraps around, coming all the way back. And then I'll stop. Once I reach tooth structure, I'll stop. You can see the bulk of that now. Uh, you know, how much should I leave in there? Well, I want normal contours of a a lateral incisor so we can bring this down a little bit more. But I am right at the right at the tooth structure now, so I can feel it. Using low RPM, you're not gonna be traumatizing or scratching the tooth itself. As you'll have a little better feel, you know, for for that. Okay. take the pumice. So we have a profi angle, profi cup. I'm going to switch gears now. So this is a soft cup, polishing cup. Come right on in and polish that. Always moving the cup. You don't want to just put it on the tooth and expect it to polish. You'll end up with little rings on the surface. So always keep it moving. And you keep that surface nice and smooth. And you won't be able to even tell a seam is in there. All right, now, we'll, now we're gonna rinse that off. A 
Okay, so that's the smearing effect of the pumice. And then we're going to use something called tin oxide, which is mixed with a little bit of alcohol. And that's our final polish coming now. Still haven't removed the cell tracks cord. We'll do that at the end and then recheck the margins. That's got a nice shine to it. Now we're going to reach in and remove the cord. And as I'm doing it, I'm also feeling the margin. There's the cord. All right. Cord's out. That's a braided cord called Siltrax cord. And that's it, folks. I don't really have to do much more. I'll do a little more polishing, but this Dr. Cuomo with a class five on uh, tooth number 10, uh, all complete. Thanks for watching.